Okay, so the first thing you'll have to do is get some electronic factories to get a good economy going. Oh yeah, also if Germany invades you right away before you even get your factories, you should just quit the match because, I mean, there is no way you will survive. I would recommend selling your first 64 electronics to Japan or India. If that's not possible, sell it to other nations such as China, Brazil or the United States. As you can see in this clip, Germany wanted to invade me. I had no manpower, so I needed to go for mass attack and try to buy steel and motor parts from other countries to begin spawning tanks. If Germany lets you capture Austria and Hungary, that means he's scared of you and doesn't want to invade you, so you should just go for it and invade him instead. Congratulations, you have now captured Germany as the Czech Republic. Now that you have made Russia mad enough to invade you, you should start preparing your next army or else you will probably die to the Russians. Make sure to get more fighters than your enemies. Once you kill all of his planes with your fighters, you should start spawning in attackers to kill his infantry and his tanks. I also suggest you making forts on the borders with Russia and placing tanks on those cities. If you have the extra money you should try buying some artillery and support your tanks with that. The final thing you should focus on before invading Russia is to research the proper things. The only thing you should really research is the tank armor and the tank firepower. Now you just have to wait for Russia to attack you. After his army dies, you can proceed to counter push. 
China joins the war with Russia, you should just retreat and make another defense line. By doing that you will cause even more casualties since you can also scorch all of Russia's land making China's troops die before they even reach your defense line.